I, I, first of all, I think he's completely right that the evolutionary dynamics is not one of creating more mild variants. In fact, it is already shown that the virus can evolve to more uh, lethal uh, variants. And, and there's no reason uh, to assume that it won't in the future. But more than that, um, there is the long COVID consequences, which include um, both uh, debilitating symptoms, uh, but also organ damage that is causing death uh, uh, through heart attacks and strokes and other effects that has already been demonstrated uh, uh, through studies. Um, and the, the major news over the last recent time, last few months, is, is a doubling from about 25 papers to about 50 papers about immune system harm. Uh, and what we've seen, of course, around the world is a, 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 the, the normal diseases, the, quote, diseases that we're used to, are becoming much more um, pro, pro widespread, much more severe. And, and the, the reasonable explanation for this is actually just going back to the fact that the exposure uh, to COVID has undermined a lot of the immune system's effectiveness through killing and, and, and really um, uh, 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 undermining the T cells of the body, which originally was something that people thought would be a major uh, strength of the immune system for COVID, but is actually being harmed through direct infection and, and other effects of the disease on the immune system.